Giannis has led Milwaukee to their first title in half a century. It's hard to believe that the 2021 Finals MVP was once a skinny, unknown prospect. Adetokounmpo was a role player, averaging under 7 points per game, and merely 6 years later, he's become one of the best players in the league. Here's how Giannis developed into an NBA champion. First off, congratulations to the Bucks and their fan base who've watched their team complete a glorious 7-year rebuild and are now feeling the highest possible euphoria that a sports fan can experience. When my raps brought the first title north of the border two years ago, the city was lit. I'm sure everyone in Milwaukee is going crazy right now and experiencing something similar. But as the pattern of our league goes, this current glory felt by Bucks fans was once sorrow. As any draft system entails, you have to suck to achieve success, and it was less than a decade ago that the Bucks looked to the future. Flashing back to the spring of 2013, when the Bucks were swept by the Heat in the first round of the playoffs and would only get pick number 15 in the upcoming draft. Giannis was known as a raw, inexperienced talent. He had upside, but it was going to take a project to develop him. 14 players, 13 of whom never got close to an all-star appearance, were selected ahead of Giannis. Bucks GM at the time, John Hammond, took the chance on the Greek prospect. Listed at 6'9 at the draft, Adetokounmpo shot up to 6'11 within a year of entering the league. That growth offset another perceived weakness, his strength and physicality. Coupled with his defensive inconsistency, many experts questioned whether Adetokounmpo had what it took to compete in the more aggressive NBA. Just over a month after the draft on July 31st, 2013, Milwaukee traded away J.J. Redick and Brandon Jennings in sign-and-trade deals, receiving Chris Middleton from Detroit in return for Jennings. So about eight years ago today, John Hammond was responsible for acquiring the future faces of the Bucks franchise all in less than two months. That 2013 summer saw the Bucks let their starting shooting guard Monta Ellis walk in free agency. The Bucks won just 15 games in 2013-14 and finished dead last in the East. In the meantime, Giannis was quietly flashing potential as a first-year player. He was 6'9 and just 190 pounds, but his attacks to the basket were dominant right off the bat. The evidence that we were looking at the greatest slasher of this generation may not have been there quite yet. However, anyone who batted an eyelash at the Bucks that season were well aware that Milwaukee had found a gem. What Giannis was doing at nearly 7 feet tall was revolutionary. We'd never seen a player that big make up so much ground with his drives to the basket and then have the ability to extend for dunk slash layups over anyone. Additionally, rookie Adetokounmpo shot 34% from deep, which is the highest percentage he's ever shot in a season. He was a second team all rookie, and everyone knew that all he needed was a bit of strength along with experience to become special. As a sophomore, Giannis added some muscle, shooting up to 217 pounds. Over the next two seasons, his game steadily progressed in every statistical category, and the Bucks improved. They won 41 games in 2014-15, earning the number 6 seed in the East, but the following year in 2016, they missed the playoffs. Giannis was a 17-point scorer at this point, but nothing more than an impressive young talent who yet to prove himself as a legitimate star. The 2017 campaign would elevate his reputation as the Greek prospect morphed into the Greek freak. Averages of 23 points, 9 rebounds, and 5.5 and assists led him to win the Most Improved Player Award. Through the first three seasons of Adetokounmpo's career, he would strictly rely on athleticism and brute force to get the majority of his buckets. But the 2016-17 campaign saw Giannis develop several signature moves. His dominant off-the-dribble transition to a post-up started to freeze defenders. His Euro steps and spin moves when going downhill also developed. Most notably, it was the drop steps he was able to pull off when backing players down in the post that made him so improved. Adetokounmpo became the youngest player in NBA history to lead his team in points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. From that 2017 season on, the Bucks were solidified as perennial playoff contenders, and it was all fueled by the man who they took with a pick outside of the lottery. 
Even though the Bucks went down to the Raptors in the first round of the playoffs, Giannis's playoff numbers that year were absolutely insane. Having said that, he did shoot just 54% from the charity stripe, so free throw shooting started to become a clear weakness in his game. 16-17 saw Giannis make second team All-NBA, but his development was just getting started. The strength of the Raptors, who had guys like Damari Carroll and PJ Tucker to defend him, got to him in 2017, so in 2017-18, Giannis came back with a lot more upper and lower body strength and you could just tell he was in the best shape of his young career. His ball handling and IQ in the pick and roll also improved, his points per game had vamped significantly for a second straight year, and he was officially a top 5-10 to 10 player in the world. Unfortunately, the Bucks would lose in the first round to the Boston Celtics, making that four first round exits in the previous six years for Milwaukee's organization. But Giannis was on a mission in the 2018-19 campaign, winning the MVP and leading the Bucks to the conference championship where they got just two wins short of reaching the NBA Finals. They'd taken a 2-0 lead on their rivals in the Toronto Raptors, but then Kawhi Leonard and company woke up, breaking Milwaukee's heart. That was the second time in three years that the Bucks had lost in the playoffs to Toronto. Giannis had gotten more dangerous off the dribble and savvier in the pick and roll, but his game was still too one-dimensional and opposing defenses could figure out how to stop him. Definitely didn't help that Giannis had almost no help in 2019's East Finals. Chris Middleton averaged under 14 points, so Giannis had to carry. The Bucks seemed destined to reverse their fortunes in 2019-20 as Giannis won his second straight MVP and also took home the Defensive Player of the Year. The Bucks were the first seed in the East with a massive lead on the second seeded Raptors in the Eastern Conference, but the pandemic hitting ruined their momentum, and when the league returned at Disneyland after three months, the Bucks were swept in the second round of the playoffs. Middleton was much better than he was in 2019, but the lack of elite shot creators on the roster outside of Giannis and Middleton was putting too much pressure on the Bucks duo. So the addition of Drew Holiday took a significant amount of pressure off those two to create offense. No more were the days of teams trapping Giannis by bringing three or four defenders over to one side of the court and getting away with it. Because in 2021, with the all-star development of Chris Middleton, which had began one season prior, along with the addition of a former all-star in Drew Holiday, the Bucks' offense was built for a championship. Their ability to take over games on both ends of the floor was so dominant that it led me to predict they'd win the title two months before it actually happened. So I'll show you how this team's built up a lethal rhythm and why they can be your pick to not only win the Eastern Conference, but to take home the Larry O'Brien Trophy. Here's why the Milwaukee Bucks will win the 2021 championship. Giannis shot a career best by far, 83.7% from 0 to 3 feet, and also shot a career best 40% from 3 to 10 feet. This past season in playoffs, we witnessed the postgame of Giannis become extremely well-rounded. From his fadeaways to his Shaq-like drop steps and revolutionary slashing and soft touch, everything was better in Giannis's game for yet another year. In the postseason, Giannis joined Kobe, Kawhi, and LeBron as the only players in the last 20 years to average 30 points per game in a playoff run in which their teams made the finals. Also, Giannis dropped the most points by a player ever in a finals closeout game. There's a few words for Giannis's 2021 playoff run, those being legendary, iconic, and revolutionary. This guy deserves our respect and is debatably the best player in the league with his dominance on both ends. We've gone over the growth on the court, but Giannis's leadership has been the most crucial aspect to his maturity as a player. His teammates love playing for him, and the current mentality he's developed is pretty incredible considering he was once giving interviews like this. Um, I'm an all-around all player. I can jump, I can shoot, I can pass the ball. I can do everything in the court. Eight years after that interview, Giannis is giving inspirational advice in his interviews like this. Plenty of players who didn't seem like they figured the ego part out 
until their thirties. I mean, who taught you about what it, why that's important and, and to handle it that way? I think, I think, I think, uh, I'll say life. Usually let me tell you this. Usually when, um, uh, from my experience, right? Like when I think about like, oh yeah, I'm, I did this. I, you know, I, I'm so great. I had uh, 30, I had 25, 10 and 10 or whatever the case might be, because right. you don't think about that. Oh, we want this and that. Usually the next day you're going to suck. Right. You know, uh, <laughs> simple as that. You like the next few days, you're going to be terrible. And uh, I figured out like, a mindset to have that, like, when you focus on the past, that's your ego. I did this. You know, um, we were able to, you know, um, beat this team for all. We, we did. The, I did this in the past. I won that in the past. Right. And when I focus in the future, it's my pride. Like, yeah, next game, game five, I do this and this and this. Right. You know, I'm going down. That's your pride, Zach. Like, you, it doesn't happen. Like, you're right here. And... Um, I kind of like try to focus in the, you know, in the moment, in the present. And that's humility. That's being humble. That's not setting no expectation. That's going out there, enjoying the game, competing at a high level. After going down 2-0 to Brooklyn and then Phoenix, Giannis kept repeating all playoffs that the Bucks were built for this. And that belief in himself and his teammates manifested a championship campaign based off his humbleness and all-around persona and of course revolutionary talent this could be a dynasty for Giannis and the Bucks his journey to get to the NBA is one thing but it's Giannis's journey within the NBA that's even more incredible in 2013 this man was six foot nine and 190 pounds now he's seven feet and 242 pounds the fact that he went from a role player to the finals MVP just goes to show you that if you learn from your mistakes, keep grinding, and stay humble, anything can happen for you. The way Giannis fought through injury, led his teammates, and attacked the bucket with force time and time again should be inspirational to everyone. He earned every penny of the contract that he signed half a year ago and proved to the basketball world that he's a legend in the making. Hope you enjoyed that video. Leave a thumbs up to help it reach more people and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next video.